Yes. Hi. This is Andrew Work. Hey guys. Look at this part. You may not recognize him, but it is Andrew Work. Well, I think our loyal followers have been following the Mo's. It's been coming in over the course of the month. And, uh, All right. Yeah, maybe the, when we added the white tips, it might have yeah. thrown them off a little bit. You are a visionary. You think so? Yes. Okay. Because of the weather going below 20 degrees this morning. Yeah. And your mustache grows really long. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> you know, just a little, little extra coverage to keep me warm right there. Right there. But you're from Canada. Yeah. I mean, how do you find the people, like, dress in um, I, I have to make, the, the Canadian, <laughs> heavy coats and, yeah, and, and all that. That's pretty crazy, you know, 25 <laughs> degrees. All of a sudden, they're getting out what we call toques, you know, the wool hats, yep. you know, the little pom-pom on top. And they get, like, gloves and coats. It's like, oh. Yeah, they, like, it's, it's like, some guys, of them, it looks like they're going to ski. Yeah, 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 and like I'm, I'm still on my energy saving plan where I take a cold shower every morning. All know, right, the, the pipes are on the outside of the building, which means the water's getting colder and colder as we get farther into the winter. All right, but I'm sticking with it. Okay, a little bit of an energy saving measure. All right, okay. So, so but that being said, I don't know if CLP is going to give me any money for it. Why? Well, CLP, you know, we're sitting down today. There's going to be a review in uh, the uh, Economic Development Committee, and you know they're having a look at schema control, and now they've asked CLP to do something really strange. And, you know, this was in the news last week. They're going to be talking about it today. Taking, basically, after CLP makes their money and they're allowed to, you know, have a certain rate of return and then distribute it out to shareholders, from Mm -hmm. that pot of money for shareholders, they're going to take some of it away from the shareholders. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to make them give it to non-commercial buildings to help them to reduce their energy bills. Mm -hmm. Now, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to get a piece of that, but this is a really strange idea. It's like saying, hey, shareholders... Sorry, but you guys are just going to have to suck it up. We're taking some of your returns. <laughs> you know, sorry, Grandma, your MPF is down this year because we decided we wanted to take some of your money and give it away to somebody else. Well, speaking from a typical Lions Rocks Institute yeah. member, yeah. I can fully understand and comprehend what you're talking about. Well, it's, yeah, but because you know, it's, it's a really targeted, it's like you shareholders are being targeted by the government. And it, it doesn't, you know, when you, you think about rule of law issues, one of the concepts is that, Law should apply equally to all people, but this one is saying, no, CLP shareholders, you are going to pay for somebody else to lower their energy bills, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. But having said that, yeah, I uh, today we can start a mini debate on okay. this one. Okay, this is a conscious decision, yeah, of the management. Well, the management and, of both power assets yeah, and yeah, CLP yeah, have yeah. gone this along with this. This is a conscious yeah. decision of the management. Yeah, and I think mm-hmm. the management is going to send a signal. To all of his shareholders, you think so? That's how. That's yeah. By the end of the scheme of control, yeah, they may want to do something more along this line. Right. Remember, okay, Exxon Mobil, right, have sold all their shares. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of CLP, yeah, yeah. they're out. They're to out. To CLP yeah. and also to a Chinese energy company. Yeah. So I think this is part of the typical change of management. Right. Sending the signal that this is what the new management is. Is, is going to do okay uh, so that's why this is strange yeah because not the typical ExxonMobil management no would, no would, yeah uh, you wouldn't see them giving something yeah, like I think it's, it's sending a very clear signal yeah uh, to the market mm-hmm. so if you're a shareholder you really have to think about okay this is the new direction that CLP is going what should you do yeah I think well, so. And this scheme of control applies to both the big power companies. I agree. Uh, they are also going to talk about opening up the uh, the potential mix of fuel sources. Yep. Uh, I don't know. That means people put windmills on the roof of their building or what. But you know, I'm waiting to see if shareholders get up at the meeting and are like, "Hey, you're you know, Why? we're getting ripped off." Yeah. You know. So I'm curious to see how that plays out. Yeah. But what if? What if? Um, I'm just hoping. Yeah. I'm just yeah. hoping. Now. Yeah. What if the shareholders agree? Well, if the shareholders yeah, don't put is, up a yeah, fuss, then they're going to yeah, get what yeah, they deserve. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? They're the gonna... shareholders agree. But, uh, yeah, I'm just but cre- you yeah. raise a very important point. I mean, yeah. um, uh, most of the green groups, of course, will support this idea. I think they will, yeah. yes. Uh, but the shareholders, I don't think all of them will be very happy. That's for sure as well. Yeah, yeah. My question is how to strike a balance. Yeah. Um, with this gesture mm-hmm. of taking part of the shareholders' money, yeah, for environment protection or saving energy use would yeah. lower the operation risks, in particular the public affairs and political risks of Yeah, well, I guess that's one way of looking at it, absolutely. You yeah. know, is, it, mean, mit- is it mitigating a yeah. risk? Of yeah. all people, you may yeah. be only one of the few can understand what I'm talking about because yeah, you have yeah, to yeah. balance economic risk with 
pumping up as risks. Absolutely, and there's a, there's a cost attached to that yeah. risk, you know, which is hard to calculate, but it is real, and people do try to calculate it. And 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 I think CLP is doing this as a pilot. Yeah. Okay, now I'm taking some of the shareholders' money and trying to mitigate. Yeah. Uh, our political risk and see if it works. Yeah. If it doesn't work, people still <laughs> attack them. Yeah. And bash them. Yeah. They're still going to take the heat for then, it. Then, then they will change their strategy for yeah. sure. I mean, yeah. they are they are learning organization, right? Yeah. Not only CLP, Hong Kong Electric will, will think, okay, fine. If I'm doing this sort of goodwill, yeah, of taking shareholders' money, yeah, for good purposes, and people still bash us, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then well, we make, cause then cause we will just. For, Forget it. We'll, sure. we'll just go ahead. I mean, that's the dynamics. I think we should. We yeah, should com- take a companies look. do that all the time. You know, uh-huh. they, they give to charities and things like that. And it, but usually it's out of pre-taxable income. It's it, it's not the money yeah, that goes. You know, they, they, they kind yeah. of take it out and then they yeah. declare it as a cost. Yeah. And then you figure out what the shareholders get at the end. But sure. this one's a little bit odd in that they've like said, okay, well, this is all the money we've made. Oh, and by the way, now we're going to take it out of the shareholders' yeah. earnings. So it's a little unusual that yeah. companies spending money uh, as a you know cost. What? You know what? You do know it all why? Time. You know why? Because time. of the Populist comment mm. that CLP and Hong Kong Electric is earning too much. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's earning too much. That's why they have to take it from their earnings. Yes. My take, this I am in line with you. Yeah, yeah. I don't understand what earning too much means. Yeah. In a capitalist economy. Yeah, really. Yeah. I just really don't understand. Okay, we are a capitalist economy, and then we we go for earnings. So what is earning too much means? Yeah. I, I don't understand. Yeah. I mean, earning illegally or earning unethically. I, I right, understand. Right, right. Yeah. Earning too much, how can I don't be, understand. How can that be well, you know, enlighten I, me. Well, okay, I'll enlighten you. I'll enlighten you a little bit. <laughs> it's this is a very strange situation we have in Hong Kong because in, in other places there's a there's an energy company that has an energy monopoly. Now here we have two effective monopolies, right? But the strange thing about them is that they were never set up to be monopolies. You know, when the Harry Layla family started stringing up electric lights back in the early days, people were yeah. like, what are you guys doing? That electricity stuff, that's crazy talk. It's never going to fly. And, of course, it did. Um, became the world's dominant power distribution system. But there is nothing that says that somebody else can't, theoretically, set up their own power source in Hong Kong. It can, you know, it, theoretically it can be done, but it's just not the way it's evolved. Mm. Right? So they don't have an actual monopoly, but people say they have an effective monopoly, and that's why they try to control them and, you know, through the scheme of control and all these types of things. Yep. Um, but if, we, you know, if there was a change in technology such that people could generate their own electricity cost effectively, because of course you can do it now. You can set up a windmill on the roof. Yep. You know, they have these little mini ones that were invented in, in Hong Kong. They, they, Each house has a windmill. Well, well, there's the big ones right, yeah. that you see out in the fields, but in Hong Kong they invented little ones. You put like 40 of them on your roof. Each one's like this big, and you can power a building. They're yep. not widespread yet. But, you know, people aren't quite there yet in terms of thinking like that. So they still think of it as these two monopolies that need to be controlled, through scheme of control, these, uh, you know, they, they're, they're stabilization fund, all these different things. So that's, that's why these guys get so many weird controls put on them. But my understanding from talking to people in the industry is that the controls have become much more direct. They get these edicts that the Hong Kong government used to pretty much set the standards and let them run with it. But now more and more they're getting daily calls from people saying do this do this do this and they're becoming much less independent in their operations mm. which is something to watch all right so let's pick uh energy energy yeah energy it's a, you know vital vital gotta have it you know everybody loves it until yep. we get too much you know so energy will be the keyword for today yeah thank you andrew all right sounds good vincent thank you you bet